All right, number 62. And 62 and 61 are going to probably be the most painful ones because they're back-to-back -back and they're both fucking perverted. <laughs> My girlfriend's a gal. Let's start with the positives first off. I won't go into the characters that much because of the fact that the characters have their own issues and flaws. And I like to say this. Character, all the characters have character development even though it's only 11 episodes. Now then, with that being said though, Here's the main problem with this anime. Let's see. This girlfriend is a gal. The girlfriend is a gal. A former gal. And she makes too many freaking teenage freaking jokes. Like ridiculous. She says hashtag or something like that. She's a gal. She, she's pretty much one of those people. But she's trying to, she's trying to break out of that. Sort of. Um, she tries to date a nerd who's a virgin. I don't know why the hell that they mentioned that he's a virgin, but whatever. Here's the thing. He wants to date her because of her body. Because she's got big boobs and a big ass. That's that's number one rule of not doing jack shit. Later down the road, he finds out that he loves her because of her personality. Because she's always kind, sweet, and behaved. She's like the opposite of a gal. Now then, there is one evil dude who is who is trying to break them up, but he fails miserably. And the girlfriend's um, uh, friend decides to kick him in the nuts at the very end of the anime, which is fucking funny to my opinion, and he deserves it. The main thing why it's not... That's why I like about it. And it's a really good concept of the anime as a whole. I like how they do the main, two main characters. My main problem of the anime... Um, let me just say this is... My main problem of the anime and why it's not higher on the list... Is because of the side characters. Holy shit. What the fuck am I getting myself into? Well, let's first start off with the girl who likes... Her more than a friend. She likes her as a lover. Um, she wants her to stay a virgin, and this, that, and the other thing. And the funny thing is, is the funny thing is, is the fact that she threatens to kick the, the chop off the guy's her boyfriend's dick off if he does do something with it. It's pretty fucking funny. It doesn't go anywhere, but whatever. Here's the thing, and I like to digress. Um, this anime. She has big boobs. Now, why is that a thing you may ask? It's because of one reason and one reason only. There's this one scene that has burned into my fucking skull where she has a boob war with her friend with the girl's girlfriend and he loves it. I don't know why that's a fucking thing. It just drives me fucking nuts. So baby much they start Banging their boobs together, and that's why I don't know what the fuck I'm talking. This is this is not this is not for kids to tell you that much. It's the complete opposite of the, after two animes ago. <laughs> Just to let you know, because I've been saying boobs this whole time. Now then, um, the other side character has at least a little more concept of it, and that's why it's at number sixty two as well. Is because of the fact that. She has, she has, she's an internet sensation, but she likes to keep it a secret from her friends. She's a nerd, but she's also, ha they, she also loves the main character who the main character is dating. So pretty much you have a girlfriend and boyfriend. A girlfriend has a girl who likes her and you have a girl that likes the boyfriend as well. But they, but they, but they, but they try to break them up, but they always fail and they always and they always try to um, uh, break them up, but they fail, and then they, like, stop, and they help them out the last episode, this, that, and the other thing. Okay, that's rule number four. <sighs> now then, the boyfriend, the guy, girl's, the main character's boyfriend has three friends. They're all nerds. Here's where it gets a lot more disturbing, I'll tell you that much. First off, one of his friends likes to, be with younger girls like in kindergarten or first grade and if anyone touches them or pushes them aside he goes at bad shit insane first off that's not how you're supposed to react to it i understand that but seriously 
The guy needs to get his fucking head chopped off, to be honest with you. Okay, that's not good for society. But it's an anime, so um, you'll probably hate the character. He's not really irrelevant through the whole entire anime series until the very end. But there are some scenes in this anime that I really highly make sure you don't let your kids watch it. Okay? Okay. Second, the other two characters are actually decent. They're not like bad people. It's just that one character. Luckily, they don't get a lot of screen time. Sort of. I mean, they do get screen time because they're the, the, the girlfriend's... The gal's girl boyfriend's friend. But they try to... The other two guys try to get with the other two other three females. Now then, there's this one other female that I haven't mentioned yet. And I like to say this. Japan has a problem of making girls' boobs too fucking big. Um, let me just say this. This anime has a middle school student who's in love with the girl gal's girl boyfriend. And she's got a massive rack. What the fuck? It's in middle school. Why? Fucking why? Well, then again, she no, I think she might be in high school. I don't know. But she's a small girl and she's got big boobs. Why? I don't understand your fucking concept there, Japan. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so because of the plot of the two main characters, I'm putting it at number 62. That's the main reason why. It's pretty ridiculous, and some characters you just want to punch them in the face. Even if they are the good guys in the whole anime. But that's just my opinion. Um, but to be frankly honest with you, I wouldn't watch this with your kids, to be honest with you. And you think this anime is bad? Wait until we get to the next anime, because that's even fucking worse. Okay? <laughs> I hate... Alright, now, the only reason why I put this on the list is because... It was a point in time where I didn't, I, I always started, I started off watching action and adventure. But this anime is actually pretty funny. I like the comedy jokes, and even though they're sex jokes and stuff. They, they really do a really good job at it. <laughs> that being said though, I think this anime is probably the most ridiculous anime. Well, it's not the ridiculous anime on the list. Because we still have two more that I know that's on the list that's a lot more ridiculous than this one. You can finish off in like almost a half a day. There's only 11 episodes so you can watch it in like a day. But I pre-warn you there's a lot of sex jokes and there is a lot of boobs. Um, mostly boobs because three of the females, uh, three out of the four females that are on the, that are that are one of the main characters or side characters have big tits. Um, let me just say that in the direction. This anime is not for kids. I do not recommend it for kids. If you're a kid and you watch this, you will burn in hell. Um, <laughs> I hate that it's on the list, but I had to put it on there just because of the fact that I like the concept of the two main characters' growth when it comes to a relationship. That's what I like about it. Other than that, all the side characters are just perverted jackasses or just are just freaking perverted morons. They, all they care about is doing it with another female or the female wants to do it with another female or they just want to get together with the fucking main character. Oh my god. So that's... For, my first girlfriend is a gal. Now then, with that being said though, the next anime is even more ridiculous. Um, thank God I'm doing these back to back. But there is a reason why the next anime will be at number 61. But this anime deserves to be on the list. Because of the concept of the relationship between an ex-gal and a nerd who's trying to stay a virgin. But then they realize that they love each other for their personality. That's what I like about it. Alright. Okay. Um. I that's why it's on the list, and that's why I put it on here because I like the concept of the relationship side. Because they, because they battle with their friends who are trying to break them up because well, her friends trying to break them up because they don't think that he, he she deserves him even though he's a nice guy, but he's also nice in this stuff. With that being said, um. 
I'm glad I got this anime out of the fucking way. I do not recommend it for fucking kids. If you are a teenager, be precaution, but they don't show, you know, boobs. They do show boobs, but they have clothes on, thank fucking God. And, yeah, my suggestion to you is don't fucking watch it unless you're a freaking pervert. <laughs> I regret watching this anime, but I love the love concept, and that's why it's on the list. Um, that's the only reason why I can think of that. Why it's on now? Why does it be all the rest of the anime? Because they do do a lot of good jokes in there. I do like the joke concept as well, and that's why it beats out every other anime. But it doesn't move forward because of the complaints I just said. Um, one of the main characters, I want to punch him in the face. One of the side characters, actually, I want to punch him in the face. And that's the modern line. So I hope everyone has a nice positive day. Take care. We're one for two of these ridiculous animes that I've watched. And I'm not. Tomorrow is going to be even more ridiculous of the concept of the anime. I will get to that when we get to that tomorrow. And I'm probably going to be like, you know, pretty upset between why I put these at number 62 and 61. But I have my reasons why. Because I, I already explained it. I love the rom romance. Concept of it and it's really good. I just don't like the fucking side characters personalities. Well, some of them are Um, so without being further ado this anime is number 62 number 61 <laughs> Well, we'll get to that when we get to that But I hope you guys have a nice positive day take care and hopefully don't watch this because I don't recommend it to anyone Unless you're a fucking pervert later <laughs>